Diane here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys. It is a self-proclaimed best thrift haul I've ever made. But first I wanted to mention the fact that my hair is completely dark now. I dyed it on a whim yesterday with my boyfriend. He helped me dye it. I haven't had my hair like this since high school, so it feels so weird. Like I'm looking at the viewfinder and I feel like I'm looking at a stranger. I use this box by L'Oreal Paris in Excellence Cream. This one still has the stuff in it because I ended up buying two boxes since my hair is pretty long, but one box was enough to cover my hair length. I hope you guys like it. It's a real big change for me. Would you guys believe that I only spent $15 on this entire bag? Yeah, I went a little ham. For the longest time, I just kept spending all of this money at thrift stores, and I, I mean, I don't mind it because I always end up finding some really cute things, but at the end of the day, thrifting is about not only finding cute things, but also not spending a ton of money on it. I went to the Goodwill outlet with my brother the other day, and it was kind of on a whim. I had gone there in the beginning of college, I think freshman year. Ever since then, I honestly hadn't gone back, and I don't know why, because it's really cheap. There is a catch. It's not your regular Goodwill that you can go and look through racks that are organized by color and size. No. This one has a room filled with a ton of bins that you have to go through and see if you can find anything. There is a ton of hidden treasure here, so I really recommend you guys check it out. Also, there are a ton of people there that I feel like do it as a business. Like, they go to this Goodwill store, get a bunch of deals and resell things. I don't know, but they're crowded there and they have like a bunch of their carts just filled with stuff. But if you can get past some of the hostility, it really isn't too bad. And honestly, by the time I saw how much all this stuff cost, it was worth it. I'm gonna start off strong with one of my favorite pieces that I found. Or actually, I think it is my favorite piece that I found. Um, and it's a pair of shoes. I believe that the pricing is a little bit different. I think they're like $1.70 each or something like that. But yeah, look at these. They're beautiful. I love the pop of red. They kind of have more of like a red orangey color to them and have this beautiful embroidery all along the front. I love the pointed front of the shoe and it's also like a mule style. You can see that there. It also has like a little kitten heel and I'm just obsessed with these shoes. I feel like they would be so interesting to pair with maybe a pair of jeans and fishnets layered up. Okay, so now onto the clothes. I found this really beautiful tailored jacket from Lord & Taylor. I love the fit. The tailoring is impeccable. I don't usually wear these sort of dark olive tone colors and I feel like now looking at it, it would look so cool with like my darker hair. I always kind of compare the clothing that I buy to my hair, so if that's weird, I'm sorry guys. Um, this just kind of looks good, right? I don't know. And I feel like this would be so cool styled, like very casual with maybe like a pair of shorts and a very nice loose button down and a neck scarf or something like that. Next, I got a pair of trousers because maybe you guys have noticed, but I wear jeans too much. And so I thought I would pick up this pair of trousers. They have a dark navy blue color with a contrast of these little white dots all over it. It's very nice and breezy, which would make them great for the springtime too. And I can't wait to wear them. Next, I have a piece that's kind of like out of my style, but I still really love it. And I can't wait to wear this maybe to like a festival or something. Thing, but it's just this tie-dye Grateful Dead shirt. I'm obsessed with their logo, so I thought it would just be so fun to wear to a festival. I know it's like long sleeve, but if you just roll up the sleeves and maybe tuck this into a pair of black shorts or something like that, it would be really cute. And I'm also probably going to be sharing this with my boyfriend because he loves Grateful Dead. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I love polka dots. I have like a really cute black polka dot slip that you guys have probably seen in a ton of my videos, so it's to no surprise that I gravitated toward this fabric in the bin and I'm so glad I did. I found this really beautiful blouse. It's very oversized and loose and it also has a necktie which is interesting because that's like totally in style right now. This would be so cute with a pair of jeans just tucked in, very nice, loose and baggy. Um, maybe even with a pair of shorts or something like that in the springtime to make it look a little bit I don't know, more fun. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so over the winter now and I can't wait to just bust out a bunch of like new thrifted clothes. <laughs> Next top isn't as interesting, but to me, I feel like I definitely need more things like these. It's just this basic cream colored top and I love how oversized it is because it just drapes nicely on the body. The color is beautiful. Definitely something a little simple, so if I wanted to style it up, I could wear it with like a necktie again just to add a little bit of a pop of color. I thought I'd pick this little guy up. Again, just something that'd be great for the spring. I need things that are a little bit more airy. I love this little eyelid detailing that it has on the sleeves along with the neckline. It has more of like a square-ish neckline, 
which I feel like is so different and unlike a lot of things that I already have in my closet. But yeah, this one's from J. Crew in a size 4. Next, I have this little denim romper. It's really mini. I thought it would just fit me really nicely. I don't know if these are going to be in style this year, but I'm still wearing it nonetheless just because I really think that denim goes with everything basically. I haven't tried this on yet, so if it doesn't fit me, I'll probably be selling it on my Depop. I can't really try too many things in the Goodwill outlet because they don't have like a changing room or anything like that. Okay, so this next piece is the only thing that I actually got for the winter. This really nice red long scarf. I love this orangey red color and I also like the fact that it's more of a skinnier scarf so if you wanted to make it a little bit more I guess full you can just tie it around a bunch of times or you can just tie it around once and it's pretty nice and simple. On to some more scarves. I got this beautiful one that's burnout velvet and I love the color to it and at the very end it has these little tassels I think it's so nice and super bohemian surprisingly I found a ton of like these sort of necktie scarves and I'm obsessed with them I always like to vary them because if not then I get really bored really fast so the first one has this really cute little floral print all over it and it also has these little tassels at the bottom so I'd probably just like layer it up and like wrap it multiple times and kind of have it hanging toward the back and then I got another similar colored scarf this one's a little bit more I guess tacky looking because it has a golden sort of pattern to it but I really love the colors I like the fact that this one has like a bigger bolder print because if you wrap it up a little bit you can still see the little bits of color everywhere I've never purchased anything like this so I thought it would be worth giving it a go since it was so cheap I feel like those two would be so cute with that olive tone coat that I have just to add a little bit of a pop of color and then the last one that I have here is another next scarf but this time it's more neutral this one has more of a paisley pattern to it and it's sheer which is cool and yeah, I really like them. So that was it for the stuff that I got at the Goodwill outlet. I got one more piece because for some reason, even though I just spent $15 on this entire bag of things, I thought I would spend another $15 on one thing from one of my favorite thrift stores in the city. And honestly, I just thought it was worth it because I love this label, um, but I also really love the top. I honestly don't know if I can justify this, but yeah, this is the top. $15. This right here was worth the same exact amount as everything in that bag, so keep that in mind. But this one is by Elizabeth and James. The little tag is like coming off the shirt itself. I love the fact that it has a sort of cascading fabric sort of just hanging on the neckline. So yeah guys, that was it for this massive thrift haul. I am so excited with everything that I got. I'm honestly really surprised because usually when I go to thrift stores, especially lately, I haven't found anything that I really liked or stood out to me. But at the Goodwill outlet, I felt like I definitely found a huge variety of things that were very different than what I usually find at thrift stores that are a little bit more curated. So definitely go with an open mind. If you guys find anything at all and like take a picture, tag me in it because I would love to see what you guys find. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul video and I will see you all very soon. Bye!